Hello everybody, my name is Stefan Kraus from Byte the Bytes and in this video I'm going to show you something really incredible stuff. Um, it's just a very first peek, a very first introduction of our upcoming tidying system for the standard and professional versions of Word Creator. It will be fully available in the professional version but uh, limited in the standard version. So now the workflow I'm going to show you is not the final workflow of course, this is just a developer workflow. So that we are, so that we can quickly uh, fix the things and view uh, and and check if the results are as we expect them. Okay, now uh, let's get started. I'm going to create a, a terrain. I'm reducing the pixel error so you can see it a little bit better. And now the idea is that I want to um, just have another terrain, which actually perfectly fits to one of these corners around this one here. So, and the developer's workflow, I just create another terrain. I will have, have to adjust it, the position manually. And now I'm telling World Creator at which index this one is. <laughs> and we just have encoded the index in the base map distance, the last value here. If I now hit the generate button, you will see that awesome. It just fits perfectly together. And you have a much larger area now. And I can keep this game up going now. <laughs> telling the right index, generate, and there we go. Now you can see that we have a larger area, we have three tiles here running, and it looks just awesome. So, but if you, th if you think that this is all, no it isn't, there's a lot more because now you can start using the, yeah, the, 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 the all those crazy um, features that Word Creator offers you, especially about the mask and the terrain filters. Now let's say you have a game and you have created a large map with these styles here and um, of course you have different biomes in your terrain so it's not only like like here all so everything looks like similar it's just about uh, hills. So now let's say you want to have some canyons in the middle. So I'm selecting the middle tile here add a standard word creator filter set up the canyons maybe a little bit hit generate and see what happens. This is just awesome. I love this one. So you can see we have perfect blending between the hills over to the canyons. And also for the last one here, it just goes very smoothly, very perfect over to the other one. Now we can do this again with the last one here, for example, adding some different thing. Uh, let's take the rich one. Uh, yeah, I'll keep this original way, so it's okay. And apply the rich filter here. And now you can see, there we go. So we have some hills over to some canyons, over to some ridged versions. So this is really awesome. So you really can create now maybe unlimited sizes of terrains. Actually, the yeah, the engine will limit it, or maybe your memory will limit it, or whatever your CPU or whatever. Maybe your computer will also explode, I don't know. But uh, actually the World Creator System allows you to create unlimited um, tiles in any direction, not only along the X or Z or the Y axis. So you could imagine something like uh, a star form, you're having here a terrain, here in the middle, and the lower right and the lower right, uh, left sides, or you can create some paths of a terrain where, where the player can walk around. Or maybe you want to do some dungeon-like stuff if you're using the canyon filter. It also looks like if you would have some some sort of isometric dungeon. So there's really unlimited things you can do now. And the really cool thing about this is that uh, it will be also support have multiple resolutions. So if you decide to to stream your data or whatever, you actually um, stream higher resolutions. If you are at the part here and lower resolutions for the for the left sides here, so this will enable very very huge real size terrains in Unity. So this was just the first peak. Uh, we'll get a lot more information within the next few days because we already have uh, almost have finished it, and we're just tweaking and fixing a few things uh, that we want, and uh, we will also integrate this tiny system into the standard. Uh, World Creator UI, so we will be able to um, set up uh, a grid of uh, terrains and defining the metrics and defining each filters for a terrain. Okay, thanks for watching and check back soon. Bye bye!